Let's take a look at the new synth kit from Korg and accessible electronics company Little Bits. The kit contains 12 easily connectable modules featuring various analog components similar to those found in Korg's Monotron microsynth. Firstly, we get two oscillator modules, each of which feature a tuning dial and a rotary to control the pitch. There's also a tiny little switch which can be used to flip the oscillator between square and saw wave shapes. For power, we get a branded 9 volt battery with its own little connector module. Then there's a simple filter module with a cut-off frequency control and a peak control to adjust the intensity. There's also a simple envelope shaper with attack and decay controls. Then there's a delay module, which seems to be the same as the one found in Korg's Monotron delay, with two controls for time and feedback. There's also a great little noise generator too with a switch that flips between classic white noise and over on the other side there's a little feature called random voltage which can be used to fire out randomised voltage information and can be used to control the oscillators. To control the input there's a simple little keyboard with a wheel switch which can be used to change between octaves and a little switch that flips between hold and press modes. There's also a basic step sequencer with four tunable steps and a wheel to control the speed. We also get connectors to wire everything together. There's a splitter lead for separating the oscillators and a mini mixer for blending the sounds back together again. Finally, there's an output module with a speaker and a little volume control and a mini jack headphone output. One of our favourite aspects of the synth kit is the excellent manual and introductory guide that comes with it. It really clearly describes how each module of the kit works and has loads of example setups to try. From really basic connections To more complex signal paths to experiment with and there's even some ideas of how to modify the kit. So let's start connecting to see the kit in action. Each module of the synth kit connects together magnetically to hold two bits together and they snap in place. Obviously one of the lovely things about the synth kit is it can be as simple as you want it to be and as such acts as a great introduction to how sound is generated with an analog synth. So, for an example, as a first connection, we're just gonna add a single oscillator and switch it on and experiment with changing the pitch. Let's try adding a few more elements. First thing, we'll add the keyboard in. Now, instead of just hearing the oscillator, we can play it across the keyboard. Let's try adding a filter in too. Now we can play around with boosting different frequencies.
Now let's get everything connected and have a play with something a little more complicated. With the circuit boards openly on display, it doesn't take a huge leap to imagine how someone might be able to break out a soldering iron and have a lot of fun modifying the synth kit too. In all, the synth kit is certainly a lot of fun and offers a great introduction into the concept of how synthesis works, but it's also deceptively powerful given its modest asking price. Needless to say, we'll be hoping to find a synth kit under our tree this Christmas. <laughs>